finger got pain because he won't pull right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Witness Channel once again, where our mission is to make hell empty and heaven full. So we're here, y'all. We're here. We're about to preach the gospel and. We're praying that the Father will draw many souls to the Son, that people will be saved, people will be healed, people will be delivered, and people will celebrate that Jesus is alive. So y'all come along with us and continue to pray for us, y'all. Continue to pray for us. I want to let y'all know that without Jesus, there is no eternal life. Jesus Christ paid the debt that you and I could not pay. Jesus wants to save you. Jesus wants to rescue you. Jesus wants to change your life. I want to tell you that you cannot find your... Sorry, bro. He's the God of all languages, bro. It's Jesus. Without Jesus, we can't enter heaven. It's time for us to think about what would really happen if we were to take our last breath this very night. If tonight were to be your last night and you were to stand before God, and God wants to ask you the question, what did you do with the time that I give you? How would you answer the Father? How did you live your life? Is it really representing Jesus? Is it really pleasing God? Amen. Look, as much as, I want to, as much as I want to tell you, heaven and hell is real. Hell is for the people that rejected Jesus. Hell is for the people that say, I believe in Jesus, but lives like Satan. I want to let you know that without Jesus, my yeah. friends, you will yeah. never feel the real peace. The Bible says that peace I leave with you and peace I give to you. I don't give like the world gives. God wants to give you a new life. God wants to give you a new story. You believe in Jesus, bro? He's calling you, brother. He wants to save you. When we stand before the Father, what will you say in that moment? The Bible says, that if you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. God wants to change you. No matter how much we try, we can never change ourselves. How much we try to stop doing certain things, we cannot. But whenever we receive Jesus with sincerity, whenever we receive Him as our personal Lord and Savior, He can fulfill that work. Look, brother, Allah is not God, Jesus is God. Without Jesus, there is no answering heaven. Sorry, bro. Sorry, I seen Jesus when I was 17. He was brighter than the sun. It was a lie I can't even explain. Sorry. He was all white. What kind of drugs was you on? Jesus. Sorry. You was on mushrooms or something? I never took drugs. Why are you trying to force our religion? Jesus gave me a vision. I'm not forcing. You can walk by. You're the one that's stopping, brother. Our soul is yearning for the water that only Jesus can offer you. And that is the Holy Spirit. My friends, this is not everything to life. Do you know how many people, they die 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old. You don't know when you will take your last breath. And maybe this is Jesus trying to touch you and trying to warn you. The Bible says that God reveals to redeem. I want to tell you that Satan's desire is to see you in hellfire with him. I want to tell you that majority of the people that claim to be Christians, you will not be raptured when Jesus comes to pick up his bride. Jesus is the true God. Jesus is the only one that saves. Jesus is the only one that heals. And Jesus is the only one that gives hope. No matter what you've done in your past, what crime, if you've murdered, if you've raped, if you've cheated, I want to let you know that Jesus, the blood that he shed has the power to erase the guilt, the condemnation, and your past faults. But it takes for us to receive Jesus because only Jesus can clean us. Jesus is the only way. Without Jesus, there is no life. Jesus promises anyone who accepts him the Holy Spirit. We cannot please God by our own strength. The Bible says that even in our good days, we are like dirty rags before the Lord. We cannot save ourselves. Only Jesus can save us. God is good, man. God, continue to pray. 
pray. Pray we gotta intercede for all these souls that are hearing the word of God. Don't forget to pray. You know, there's a lot of people, not a lot, but maybe like 5% of the people who comment on my videos, they end up saying, oh this, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? But I guarantee you that those people don't go in their prayer closet and pray for me. So I encourage y'all, pray for all of us. We're all one body. I'm not greater than anybody else. As much as you need me, I need you. As much as I need my, my arm, my arm is also in need of me. So, yeah man, let's continue. Let's preach the gospel in Jesus' name. Without Jesus, there is no life. Let us repent and believe in the gospel. Jesus is the only way to heaven. This will bring you nothing but more problems. Without Jesus, we will never know our true identity. Your purpose cannot be found in these places. Jesus is calling you to himself. He wants to save what really matters and that is your soul. I want to let you know that there are family members who are worried about you and they want to see a new life. But you can never have a new life if you don't accept Jesus. Jesus paid a high price for you. Run to the cross today. Believe in Jesus and you shall be saved. Look, I want to let you know that the end of the people that die without Jesus is destruction. But God's desire is for no man to perish, but that all will receive Jesus, that all may have life that all may be saved. Without Jesus, there is no life. I speak to this city and I declare that light has come, hope has come. And that is, do you believe in Jesus? Jesus is the only way. Receive Jesus Christ tonight and you will be saved. No matter how your past may look like, Jesus can give you a new life. The Bible says that this is how the last days will look like. This is how the last days will look before the coming of the Messiah. I come to warn you all that without Jesus, there is no peace. You are opening the doors to Satan to come and destroy more and more. There is a better way. There is true peace and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus wants to rescue you from perishing. Jesus is after your soul. All Jesus is looking for is a yes from you. A sincere yes that comes from the heart. Receive Jesus tonight. Believe in the gospel and you will be saved. Without Jesus, there is no true life. Without Jesus, there is no salvation. Let us repent and believe in the gospel. God is displeased with so much sin. Why? Because sin is what separates us from the presence of God. Jesus is in need of our repentance. Jesus is in need of our yes. Jesus is in need of our willingness. Receive Jesus tonight. question for y'all. Do y'all have any pain in y'all's body? Any what? Any type of pain. Wrist pain, knee pain. Yeah, my wrist. It, it's hurting right now? No, nah, not right now. Is there anything in y'all's body that is hurting right now? Right now? No. Yeah, oh, what's up? Talk to me. I wanted, to, I wanted to prove to people that Jesus is real by instant healing. Y'all believe in Jesus? Yeah, for sure. Believe in Jesus? Yeah. If, if you were to stand before God and God asked y'all this question, what did y'all do with the time that I gave y'all? How would y'all answer him? 
answer him. Yeah, how would you answer him if you stand before like the how Father? I'm doing with the time he's given me. No, what have you done with the time he has die, given you here on earth? That's the only thing that matters. What have you done for him? Right? Yeah, of yeah. course. So how would you answer him, bro? You can be honest. Man, I work with, with the youth. I work with the youth. All that. So you think you can be saved by your good works? No. You got not alone. No, not alone. You gotta believe in your heart that Jesus died for you on your sin, for your for your sins. And then after that, you gotta. You know what I'm saying? Gotta okay. Do what do you think is the evidence that somebody believes in Jesus? The evidence. Because the Bible talks right. about certain people can say something with their lips, but it's not in their hearts. So what is the evidence that somebody believes? Faith. Faith? faith? What is the evidence that somebody has faith? Because faith and belief are kind of the same thing. When things ain't going good and you still like God, I know you got them. I would say the same. Say the same thing? Yeah. Okay, I want to ask you this question. If Jesus were here in this place, what do you think he'd be doing right now? What I would be doing? No, what, if Jesus was here in the flesh, mm -hmm. what do you think Jesus would be doing right now? Similar to what you're doing, trying to save us and put yeah. us in the right direction. Okay, honest question. So what are y'all doing here? Outside. Just enjoying life, I guess. That's a good question, yeah. but I would say just outside, think, just, no, no. just out the house. I'm doing what you're doing. What you doing here right now? Preaching the gospel. So I'm preaching the gospel back to you. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but it's a real question, nah, you know, yeah, because yeah, right. in these areas, there's big temptation, bro. No, yeah, you're right. You know, you're right, and, you're if, right. And, it, and it's not, and it's not because you're strong spiritually that you can come in these places and just walk around where everybody we else is not, walking around. We're not. You know, so you say you're preaching the gospel, yeah. so you know. But one thing I want to tell you for real, we have to go deep because majority of the people who claim to be Christians won't enter heaven, and it's biblical that only a few will enter heaven. So I encourage y'all from brother to brother, seek Jesus, seek the truth. Let there be a difference. There has to be a differentiation. You yeah. can't be like the people of the world. You can't go where they go. Yeah. You can't talk how they talk, act, or do what they do. You have to follow Jesus. You know what it means to follow Jesus? Yeah. Have a be pure in the world, character. Not of the world. Right? Not of the world. You see, if I was walking here, you know the way you know I'm a Christian? Because I'm preaching the gospel. But if y'all were to walk and I was here, you know what's going to go through my mind? Man, they're just like everybody else, looking at women, doing this, doing that. But God looks at the heart. But God looks at the heart, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, I don't know why y'all here. Y'all yeah. know why y'all here, yeah, and God yeah. knows that. I don't you know, know why you here. Tell but, me this. I mean, I stopped y'all. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> I love you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But tell me this. Uh, Why'd you stop us? There's a lot of people walking past. Why'd you stop us? I'm trying to stop everybody that I can, but bro. But you stopped us. If there was 10 of me, I would have stopped Listen, everybody. Specifically, you stopped yeah. us, right? Maybe, 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 God is, maybe God is trying to do something more. Or maybe we also got the same light that you got. In Jesus' name, bro. We've been yeah. talking about God all night. Yeah. That's for crazy, real? yeah? Yeah, bro. Let's, let's go. All of us. This is for all of us. Yeah. A message, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... The Bible says fear and tremble for your salvation. You can't be living life comfortable like this. Yeah, I'm just walking around enjoying life. I believe in Jesus. You, you know, be you have warm. to, you be have, warm. and that's dangerous. Either in or out. It's dangerous. In or out, won't he put it, won't put I, out. He said lukewarm is worse than, worse hot than or cold. cold. Yeah. You worse know, than you know, and cold. I'll you know, spit you out and, and you want to know why? You know, witches are cold, right? Yeah. But Luke, he, Jesus said, lukewarm not is the cold. The, worst. the lukewarm is, so to let you know that because lukewarm Luke, Christians are more dangerous than witches themselves. Yeah. Why? Because whenever somebody says, I love Jesus, but they're the being around their friends, the actions, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, the actions don't Luke show it. Is like, and, I don't know and, and what you, I'm gonna get from Others you. feel like they can live that yeah. same lifestyle and say, okay, yeah. I also believe in Jesus yeah. just to be saved. Yeah. They don't work like that. Right. Behind our belief, faith, there has to be action, like you said. Right, right. You know? What's, what's your name, man? I'm Jeremiah, bro. Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. Biblical yeah. name, man. You and me. Hey, love. love. Much man. love, bro. Yeah. Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all have a good night, all right? Y'all take care. God bless, bro. Yes, sir. That was a good part, right? Right. Hey, this might, this might sound crazy, okay? Does anybody have any physical pain right now? In your wrist, your yep. knee? My trigger finger got pain because it won't pull right. No. It ready to pull fast, but it won't pull fast. No, I'm being for real. Jesus, Jesus wants to prove to you that he can heal you instantly. Any pain? Yeah, yeah, it's you too, bro. Any, anybody got any pain, bro? You feel any pain? Wrist, knee, back? Jesus is. I want to show you that he's real right now. He'll heal you instantly. 
You got pain anywhere in your body? Put them on YouTube. Hey, man, I just want to tell y'all that Jesus loves y'all, okay? But he hates the sin. Let us repent, believe in the gospel, because hey, man, when we stand... Why are you coming on Saturday night? Because you know there's because there's more souls. You know who Santa Morte is? Yeah, I know, I know, I know about You believe that. in Santa Morte? Um, I believe it's a it's a it's an evil spirit. You believe in Santa Morte? You believe in Santa Morte? I believe it's an evil spirit. Yeah. You you believe that's what you believe in? Huh? You believe hey, in Santa Morte? I, no, I believe in killing is real. I believe everybody got their own relationship and own everybody journey. Survive, yeah. Do you, do you believe that every journey is right? Or, in, or or no, of course not. Every you want to know why every journey isn't right? Why, bro? Tell me. Because who's born in bullshit? Who's born into this? Into this evil world. Okay, okay. You say from day one. You say you believe in Jesus, right? Yeah. Okay. When the Bible says Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He didn't say I am a way, a truth, and the life. So according to the Bible, Jesus is the only way to heaven. Is the only way to salvation. No matter how many journeys, how many beliefs, there's only one right belief. You get me? No bullshit. Yeah, so. What do you think about that? About what? It's true. There's only one way to heaven. Yeah, like, I agree with all that. Like, yeah, good, bro. I agree with all that. Like, yeah, good, bro. You know, like, you know, like I just said, too, like, I yeah. know they made a lot of, you know, understanding to you, too. Like, everybody got their own. But, but. But also, if I know that their wrong belief is gonna take them to hell, I want to do everything to save them. Yeah. You know, true. not me save them, but I want to do everything for Jesus to save their souls. You know, bro. True. Yeah. But at the same time, you can only attempt. I can only, yeah, exactly. You because lead a horse I'm not the one that saves. You can't make them drink, right? I, that you same. Know, you know, somebody job. commented that same comment on my YouTube. Right. Same thing you said. It's you know, true. You're doing your job. Yeah. And that's all you can do. Exactly. I come, preach the gospel. Whoever wants to accept it, accept it. You know, but. We all have our own choice, our free will. Right. You know, we'll all be judged by the decisions that we take. Right. You know, it'll make me happy for everybody to run to Jesus and allow Jesus to do their permanent work, to be holy, to separate from sin, to be strong in the Lord, you know? Right. To change. I mean, that's that's the basically the whole thing. That's why Jesus came in this world, so we can be in paradise, in heaven with him for eternity, where there's no more separation. Right, right. Yeah, bro. Thank you so much, brother. God bless you, bro. You take care, all right? Take care, brother. Man, y'all see, you see, you see, see how this guy, um, that guy pointed his, he did his fingers like as if it was a gun. Let's go. Our job is done.